Uh, hey guys. Um, this is a video that I, I've been wanting to do for a while. I've just not really gotten around to doing it until today. And so I figured while the network computer is installing its thing, cancel. Uh, while the network rig is doing its thing, um, I have some other things that I need to get done. Uh, namely, uh, I logged into my World of Tanks account. And uh, one a, a, a player that I was playing against by the name of Rav underscore 111. Please, guys, do not give this guy any hate. In fact, give him props. Give this guy praise. He asked me uh, how is it I was able to um, hit him while his six, six Sense skill didn't go off. And I proceeded to explain to him that even though the 10 second cooldown is done and there are mod packs out there um, Aslan's is one of them as you guys know I do use Aslan's um, that will have a countdown so you get your little 10 seconds and then the, the 6 cent skill goes away but that doesn't mean that the other tanks still do not have you lit up what that means is your commander skill has not re-triggered okay so the best way to explain it to you Rav is I figured I'd do it in a video like this. So again, guys, please, no hate to Rav. In fact, give Rav a pat on the back and tell him thank you for coming to me because he, he thought I was cheating. So he asked me for an explanation and I said to him, no, uh, one of our light tanks had you permanently lit and he didn't know what that was. Uh, and I've noticed that a lot of um, content creators here on YouTube uh, have not explained what permanently lit means. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that. So Rav, this video is for you, my friend. Uh, so, when you permanently light an enemy, ta an enemy tank, now bear in mind, any tank has the ability to do this, however, light tanks excel, and I mean like, like a rocket, excel at doing this, more so than any other vehicle. The reason why is because a medium tank, a tank destroyer, and a heavy tank do not have the same camera rating as a light tank. Also, uh, it's usually light tanks from tier 6 and up that can do this. Okay, light tanks at tier 5 occasionally can. Now, the reason why I say that is because at tier 8 and up, they get access to this equipment, Commander's Vision System. Now, what this does is, as you can see, is it reduces the enemy tank's camo rating by a certain percentage when they're behind foliage, i.e. in a tree, in a bush, uh, over a collapsed tree, uh, and, and, and various other things of that nature. And so you cannot install this equipment on a tier five and, and lower. Okay, case in point, uh, I let, here we go. Let's take a look at the, the, the free French tank that you get. If I, t if I go to uh, it, it hardware slots, okay, well, that's directives, silly me. So if I, go, if I go to hardware slots, okay, and then click on vision, see, it doesn't get it, it gets the extra binox so when it's stationary its view range is increased by an additional things like additional 25 percent there you go see 25 almost 27.5 if it's in the correct slot but yes the way wargaming counters that is it limits your view range to 445 meters base however any view range over that okay isn't wasted okay what that does is it allows a light tank to spot you earlier and keep you spotted for longer. This is something that Wargaming don't really explain to you. This is why, how, why sometimes some light tanks, you know, you're, you think you're unspotted and out of nowhere, your sixth sense light goes off, you roll out behind your cover and wang, 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 wang. You're like, what the hell? That's because you were permanently spotted. Again, there is no skill, uh, 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 any commander skill in game to turn, not even if you've got... Uh, um, directives which you can get you can go for a crew directive and get the increased focus even this one does not tell you that you are permanently lit all this does is it activates a second sooner that's all so your sixth sense skill does not go off for at least a minimum of one to two, one one and a half to two seconds okay so you can be driving forward your sixth sense skill has not gone off and out of nowhere death stars hit you and then beep, it comes up just to mock you kind of something like that, that like the, the laughing dog from duck hunt okay um so you got to understand that even with the increased focus all the increased focus does is it reduces your your sixth sense skill light up a second sooner that's it so instead of it being one and a half to two seconds it's now just a flat one and a half second 
So there are some people out there who are pro, pro light tank players and just only play light tanks will take that skill. Okay, or depending on if the if the light tank has really bad cover, they will take natural cover. Okay, which instantly gives all of your crew concealment. Uh, now, again, bear in mind, like I said, there are some equipment that some light tanks can't get. So tier five and below, this does not apply to them. This is only for tier six and up. So now that I've explained that. I'm going to go to tier 6, tier 7, tier 8, tier 9, tier 10. Now, bear in mind, I, I have a tier 9 and a tier 10 light tank. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I have them unlocked. I just not haven't purchased them, so they don't appear in my list. Plus, I believe I've only got premium tanks selected right now. No, I don't. Okay, fair enough. But point is, a lot of my light tanks, um, they have this ability. Mostly the ones that I like to play a lot. So my Hawker 30 has it, as well as vents, as well as uh, bounty optics. Again... Its maximum view range is 524 meters. I'm going to spot you. I'm going to outspot other light tanks. And bear in mind, I've still got to upgrade my bounty optics one more time. So it caps out at 550. Even though, okay, it's technically capped at 445. I'm still going to have that additional, I see you. Does that make sense? Great. So... When you've got a good team and a good crew, and especially a good a good light player on your side who doesn't YOLO in the first five seconds, which is very bloody rare, you are going to have a really good time. And so what you've got to do is before the start of the match, ask your light tank during that 30 second call down, ask them, say, look, what is your view range? If they say my view range is 450 something, okay, then you say to them, great, it's good. Why? Because most heavy tanks max view range is about 410, 420. Most medium tanks max range is about four, I would say 425, 430, um, depending on what edition, what crews they've got, what skills they've got, what, what uh, equipment that they're running. But the point is, a light tank on average will outspot most other vehicles. There are some tank destroyers that, that kind of buck that. Uh, however, those tank destroyers, I honestly feel, are... Few and far between, and you, you very rarely see them on the battlefield. Um, most notably, it's the E25. Um, that has an ob strangely obscurely large view range. Um, and I want to say the Super Hellcat, but don't quote me on that. Let me just... Let's see. Where's my Super Hellcat? Where's my Super Hellcat? There's my regular Hellcat. There you go. There's Super Hellcat. Now, bear in mind, my Super Hellcat has my Jackson crew in there. And with the current equipment that she has, it yeah, 459 meter view range. Do you see what I'm saying? I technically have a better view range than some unmodified light tanks. So it all comes down to understanding. When it if you want to be a good player in World of Tanks, okay, yes, it is 50% RNG. Again, RNG takes a really big uh, chunk. Uh, game wise in, in into the game but most importantly your crew your tanks crew makes a difference if you don't believe me okay get your favorite tank regardless of what tier it is and buy a brand new crew for it at 50 percent no skills just base 50 percent and play five games okay with a base crew of 50 percent no boosters no food no nothing to help boost them just a straight Virgin crew, so, so no food, no case of cola, no nothing, okay? And just a bare basic crew. Bare basic, 50%, bare basic. And you will see the difference between a, a, a fresh out of boot, 50% nobody crew, versus a crew that has three, four tiers of skill. Case, case in point, these, uh, the Hellcat has three tiers, I think think you guys have no I, I know one hey though my father christmas here is, has four skills working on his fifth technically he has six cents brother in arms mentor recon repairs and concealment so technically he's working on his sixth skill if i was to put him in the super hellcat in fact you know what let's do that for a quick quick question okay so let's send him to barracks okay because the super hellcat is a premium vehicle you can do this okay put him in there my view range is now 460. Proof's right there. It's all about your crew. 
So what you've got to do, okay, all, all you've really got to do is just get the right crew, get the right skills, and know where to go. Pay attention to what's going on on the map. Pay attention as to what's going on with, with, your, with your team. Know where the enemy's pushing. See where the enemy's hold, doing a holdout while the other, while the other portion of the team is, push, is pushing like they're giving birth to a baby. Okay? And then say to yourself, where does my team need me? Do they need me here where nothing's going on? Or do they need me over there where I can at least be a supportive gun, if not extra pair of eyes? And keep certain tank destroyers that will push with these, these heavies. Like, I do it all the time in my T-30. I do it all the time in my Yag Tiger. I do it all the time, sometimes even with my third Nand. Okay? I'll do it sometimes even in my third Nand. Okay? Because a third Nand's gun, the, and this is the maxed gun for the third Nand. Okay? If you go to research, it is the max gun for the third Nand. I do have the Jag Yag Tiger Tier 9 unlocked. But I'm not going to do anything until I've, I've got the tracks research and the gun research, which means all the free EXP I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be dumping, like, straight into just this and this. Which means I can then focus on getting to... I, I want the Jagd Panzer E100. That's what I want. I want the Jagd Panzer E100. Oh, so Jagd Panzer, not Jagd Panzer. I keep calling it Jagd Panzer. It's not it's Jagd Panzer. Jagd Panzer E100. And I also want the Death Star. Um... But just because I want them to go in, in, in my collection and just look at them and go. <laughs> but long story short, it all comes down to your crew and its view range. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab my Hawker 30 and I'm going to play a game. All right. Now, bear in mind, yes, no premium ammo. I'm not using the premium ammo. I'm, I'm using my straight APCR and HE. Now, why HE? Well, again, I'm a light tank. I'm going to come across other light tanks. I don't need... A higher pen I need damage and most light tanks aren't gonna have less than a hundred millimeters of armor hell I know some heavy tanks that have less than a hundred millimeters of rear armor and when a HE shot penetrates and I do a lot of damage to them they do pay attention to me and not that my friendly heavy tank that's trying to come around the corner to one tap them if you get what I'm saying so it's all that teamwork um, again yes I am running chocolate Again, it boosts your skills. I don't use the large repair kit. I don't use the large med kit. Yes, technically they do give you your crew a protection against HE and various other things. Doesn't really matter when it comes to light tanks. You don't have armor. So the stun mechanics really not going to... A counter to stun mechanics is really not going to help. Now, I'm in the process of actually unlocking the rest of the uh, equipment. So, you, we're going to have some fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Is I'm even going to put on a booster. So I'm going to put this booster on. Put this booster on. And you know what? We'll, we'll throw up a gold, gold crew booster. There we go. Okay. Now all these boosters do is just give you extra stuff at the end of the match. Doesn't help you while you're in game. Okay. There is nothing. That, that, no kind of booster that you can get that will help you in game. Alright. Okay. So we are on Mountain Pass. Now. Mountain Pass is an interesting map. The reason why I say this is, and yes, we are the we are upper tier here, which means I can penetrate the Super Hellcats, the T25 to uh, the regular Hellcats, the AMX 12T, and the Cromwell B with my HE. Um, the Pesante C25 and the T34, I'm going to have to switch to my APCR. But the rest of the tanks there, I can pen until the cows come home. Now, what I'm going to do is, unlike most light tanks who are going to bum rush right in the center here, we're going to play smart. Okay. Now bear in mind, my tank is set up for spotting, okay? And there's no point in you bum rushing to get into a position where you you can't do anything. And let me explain, okay? I'm going to get to this point here, to this tree and this bush. I'm going to turn sideways, okay? I've lit up there 12T. Missed that shot. Now I'm going to book it. Because he lit me. After I fired. Okay. So that 12T. Is going to come back around. Okay that Hawker 30. Is gone up the ice road. So I don't have to worry about him. Because he can't spot me from over here. Yes there are two artilleries. And yes those artilleries can spot me. But notice how I'm using the bushes. And I'm using the bushes for a reason. I'm using. The. 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 The late, there you go, I just spotted the Hellcat. I spotted, okay, I just spotted the Bizante. Who hit me once, fair enough. 
Hellcat's there. Pentem with the HE. Okay, come around. Pentem again. Get shot again by the Bazante. Would be nice if I had a teammate. Okay, he's dead. Okay, KV1S gets me. But you see what I'm saying? See now our, our BZ, who the 176, okay. Case in point. Let me go to the 176, please. 176. Okay. I know for a fact that that 176 can penetrate that C C45 from the front with his eyes closed, but he's choosing because he has no faith in his tank. And it shows. Okay, when you go ahead and you just buy a tank and you play it with no faith. I mean, he's just fired. He doesn't have a Gatling gun, mate. And see, now this T-34-1 is going to go into this corner and going to keep him permanently lit. It's going to proxy, proxy light him. Because tanks have a 50 meter range where they will auto spot anyone within those 50 meter range. Okay, so the T-34-1 is permanently lit the BZ and the BZ is permanently lit the T-34-1. As long as they, they keep maintain within in proximity to each other and so that's how you can also be permanently lit is by proxy of that okay so that's that that was a bit of a bad game and that's fine bad games happen guys bad games happen you know win some lose some it's all good but i'm going to show you another tank that i like to use as well now i, I i'm english as you can tell and i'm not a really big fan of the french but this little dinky thing is beautiful he has 535 view range and he has almost 50% camo. He's at 49.69% camo. If I threw a camo net on this thing, you would never see him. His camo rating, once the camo net activates, is over 55%, almost 59%. You will never spot this tank unless you, you literally drive right up my nose. <laughs> so what I can do to even prove it is I'm going to go to crew directories. I'm going to grab a natural cover. It's going to cost me 20 grand. Don't care. It's all good. And it's only for this one game. Okay. So there you go. So on top, on top, on top. Let's go. So let's do this. Again, I do. I have no maps banned. I have no game modes banned. Okay, cool. Highway. Great. Now my enemy is the LT432. Now that is a really good light tank for its size. Okay. The reason why my tank's camo is so high is because my tank is so small. It's literally this about the same size as that truck. In fact, I'll compare the size of the tank to that truck, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Versus the T uh, LT432. Now, the LT432 it would it, it, it is huh, it's a love hate relationship with me. I have the tank; it only has a three man crew, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to try and level up any other light tank crew that you have in the, the Soviet tech tree, because a lot of Soviet tech tanks, light tanks, have more than three crew. So, as you can see. I am literally smaller than that car. I think I weigh um, a, a max of like eight tons total. Um, and so now there are certain spots that you can go to as a light tank. Now bear in mind, yes, I have a, I think it's a 20 something second or a 30 something second reload on this thing. Um, the reload on this thing is a e egregious. And so is the interclip. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my little bush, and I go to this little bush right here. Now, look at my view range. That yellow is my max render range. The white is my... There you go. They're both up now. And, okay, so the LT-42 is over there. So I know I'm not going to get lit. So I'm going to be a little bit brave. I'm going to roll up a little bit more. I'm going to stop overshot <laughs> again the problem with being such a light tank and being so fast is you will overshoot in fact you know what i'm going to do something really 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 i wouldn't say it's really smart but i wouldn't say it's really dumb i am gonna come down now bear in mind as long as i don't shoot i keep my camo even even if i am driving I keep my camo. Okay. So I'm going to park right here. Wait a second or two. Binox go up. Okay, so there's only two tank destroyers. 
And neither one of them have got a kill. So there's a high chance. Okay, I've been lit, I've been lit, I've been lit. Which means there's a tank destroyer near me. Yep. Called it. Didn't I? There you go. Spotted him. Now, notice my sixth sense is gone. I notice I unspotted him. So there's a ch there's a high chance that we've unspotted each other. Okay, and that's fine. But that means I know where he's at. So I could risk it for the biscuit. Okay, Brigetto's like, no, you don't. All right. So there's the mediums. Okay, I've been lit. Evade. Evade like a madman. SU-76 is trying to get a beam on me. Okay. RE now is me. Okay, so boom. Found their Type 4 Heavy. Okay. 122 TM is trying to shoot me. There you go. That's fine. I'm doing my best to piss him off. Oh, he caught me. Good kill. Good kill. But that's it. You Again, Rav, you asked. So, like I said, now bear in mind, tanks that are set up for scouting are not set up for combat. Let me explain. Because I've used a lot of equipment to get my view range up and my stealth down and, my, and keep my, my stealth up, uh, my camo up. Oh, there he is. You just answered. <laughs> Still have a few good tankers left. That would be making game better. Up. <laughs> you know what? You are live on my video. <laughs> there you go, Rav. You even spoke to me in your video. But the point is, now I'm going to show you, again, the LT-432. Again, it's on there. Optics, on there. Now, I could drop the optics for a gun rammer. Um, again, but I don't see the point. Again, my crew on this tank is not really the best, but we're going to go for it again. So I'll show you now what the LT-432 can do. Now bear in mind, the LT-432 does have a really good gun. Uh, out of all the light tanks, I think it has the best gun out of all. Um, and that's saying something. Because um, I, I, again, you know, the, the whole, you know, wargaming Soviet bias and all that fun stuff. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my, my drink. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so we are on Fisherman's Bay. In fact, this is really good. Uh, and we do have some tank destroyers. But they also have... Let's see, they've got a Pacelli on 12T and an EBR. Those are ridiculously fast. Because I believe... I'm not sure if it's the EBR or the... No. Is it EBR? And that's one of them. They get the turbo. Um... To get the, they get a turbo engine where they can activate it and their tank just goes ridiculously fast. I honestly think if they activate that mode, their gun should be disabled. Which means they shouldn't be able to shoot and their view range should go down by a portion. You know, as a balance factor. Now, our Lynx is going center. I am going to go over here. Oh no, is he going with me? Ugh, brother. That's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, there's their EBR. He's lit. I'm not. Now I'm lit. Where did that shell go? Come on, Wargaming. Be nice. Okay, there's a Barask over there. Again, so he's literally just going to drive around like a headless chook and ruin the game for everyone because that's what EBRs do. No joke. Seriously. No one likes, no one likes players that do that. And Wargaming seriously needs to... If, if that's what you're going to do and you think what a light tank should be doing, you, sir, are a smelly pirate. And I mean that. Because that's not what light tanks are supposed to do. Light tanks are not meant to drive around the battlefield like a headless chicken. Okay? Now, I've lit that Skoda, but notice he's not lit me. Again, my view range is better. He's backing off. Okay? Notice the EBR, who's hiding probably in a bush over here hasn't lit me up um there's the uh, no 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 the ebr's moved over there okay again 
driving around like a headless shook. Nice, R is with me, R is with me. Nice, nice, nice. Now, there we go. Lit up another tank, let's go to T27. Oh, of course I missed my shot, because wargaming, right? And that's fine. Again, this is what you're supposed to do as a scout. The AT-15 has gone too far ahead. You've gone too far ahead. But notice he's not being shot. That tells me either he's not lit. And if he's not lit. Okay, I'm going to stay here. Now, bear in mind, roll backwards until you see the bush reappear. Like so. Pulling forward like this means the bush has lost its camo to protect you after you shoot. But only after you shoot. Okay, so he's pulled back in time. And he won't roll forward. Okay, Skoda's hiding behind that rock. <sighs> Been lit. E25. Alright, so hit me once. That's fine. That's nice. Okay, so there we go. Uh, there you go. There we go. Now, bear in mind, I, I've lit targets. I have lit targets, but my teammates have not shot them. All right. That's that one gone. Sorry about my phone going off, guys. Got him. Always kill Artie. Always kill Artie. Okay, so now we're going to knife fight. And bear in mind, he's an auto loader. Okay, so I critically hit him. But did no damage. Because, you know, wargaming. Now bear in mind, he doesn't realize I can keep up with him. There we go, he's dead. And I'm dead. But it doesn't matter. Three kills in a light tank. I'll take that. Spot, there you go. I'm getting spotting damage because I've got another skill in my tank that basically for the next 10 seconds, even after my death, I keep enemy tanks that I've lit up, lit up. Again, it's all, there you go, boom. See, it, it, it's all about knowing what skills to put on your crew. Okay, buddy, hope this video helps. If it does, please give it a like. If you're new here, give it a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.